Hi BBs! I did this like pretty easy dramatic like fall look for hooded eyes. Um, feeling like very terracotta right now. Um, yeah, so if you want to see how I got this look, and here's some of my tips on how to get good base makeup for fall and how to work with color with hooded eyes. Um, hit like and subscribe and keep on watching. Hello, BBs. Okay, so I'm going to start. I have not done anything. Nothing to my face, nothing at all. Um, I'm going to grab a serum, particularly like fall, summer, in Nevada, it's very dry, um, but I have like pretty normal skin. I don't need anything like super moisturizing. If I do, I'll start to break out. So I'm just going in with the Pharmacy Feeling Good. Let's see if you can see that. Oh yeah. What a good camera. I love this thing. I just do a little, little splooge of that. Whack my earrings 300 times. Just get that all in there. I also wanted to do like a little bit of a lip mask and let that set for a minute. And I've been using the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. And this one is in Sweet Dreams. Um, I also have the Cherry Vanilla one, which is delish. But I really like this one. This one's a little more like neutral. I think it's like pinky. The other one's got more of a like red tint to it as you can imagine like cherry vanilla I'm just gonna let that set and I actually since I'm a bougie beezy picked up one of these I'm just gonna fan my face mm. um these earrings by the way undoubtedly mad on Instagram love the hell out of her uh yeah they're so cute little pumpkin ice creams little jack-o-lantern ice creams I love them. And for primer today, I've been testing out this like NYX Plump Right Back. I don't like the Milk Hydro Grip. I feel like it's too moisturizing for me. Like the actual primer, not the spray. I'll get into the spray in a second because I love that stuff. But this is the NYX Plump Right Back. Just this like little neon yellow buddy here. And I just use a little, probably not even as much as Definitely not as much as I did of the serum, but I'm just using that mostly kind of in my T-zone. The only thing that I don't like about this primer, it does have a scent. Um, the Feeling Good has a scent too, but it smells like honey. I'm very prone to migraines, so and I forgot about that until right this second, but um, yeah, this plump right back has like a really chemically scent and I feel like it's like the kind that could trigger a migraine so probably good I didn't put too much on we'll see I can leave in the description box too like how that worked for me and if like it did give me a migraine um because I know a lot of other people are really sensitive to scents too I just don't like scented stuff um I have a couple of things that are scented. I like smelling nice, but uh, yeah, I pretty much have to avoid. I'm like allergic to everything too, so like, I don't know. But just fan my face, look at my hair blowing in the wind. Um, so I'm gonna let that set for a second. Once that kind of dries down, um, and this is part of why I'm kind of skipping over like a really thick moisturizer, because a lot of my products I'm using are really moisturizing. And I don't feel like I need something really thick and juicy. Like, I would not recommend right now, or at least people with my skin type, like normal a combination at times. Um, I wouldn't do, like, the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream right now. Like, I'd save that to, like, winter, and I'd use it almost as, like, a nighttime mask instead of, like, under your makeup moisturizer. Um, but for me, a lot of things, like, start giving me little, like pimply like things um and my I know this is such a I guess 
such a problem. But my pores are really tiny, so I can't get crap out whenever that gets stuck under there. So I just get a lot of texture under my skin and like little bumps make me crazy. And I have to like really pick to get them. But anyways, I've been doing the Stay Naked Hydro Maniac. And mine's in the shade 30 Light. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. It's got marula oil in it, which I really like. And um, I know... Uh, God, Drunk Elephant does marula oil, and so does The Ordinary. Um, the Ordinary, if you don't know, is a brand that kind of... Like, they do all of the same products that a lot of these, like, higher-end brands do. Um, but for, like, it's way more affordable. So I really like The Ordinary. I know they have some kind of weird uh, products in them sometimes, so you really have to, like, read through it. But... I really recommend marula oil for cuticle oil also. You can put it in your hair, you can put it on your face. It's good stuff. So I really like marula oil. Anyways, now I have my little scribbles. I take just a dense brush. This is my KVD Vegan Beauty. It says 10 on it. I don't know if that's like the size or whatever. <laughs> it's the brush. It's the really dense one. But you can use kind of whatever brush. And... As far as my brushes go, I have a lot from Morphe, but I'm kind of trying to steer away from like Morphe. I'm just not really a fan of their stuff. I feel like their brushes really shed on me a lot. Um, I don't know. I've just really not been liking them as a company, which is like, I don't know. I just like, they did the, I don't want to get all political and stuff, I guess, but you know, they did like the collaboration with like Jeffree Star and like they do a ton with like Jacqueline Hill and some other creators and stuff that I don't know, I'm just like not a big Morphe girl and I don't really like the giant palettes with like a ton of repetitive shades. Um, I'm just not, not super into it. I like that they're really affordable and really accessible, I guess, like that's part of it. But as far as brushes go, um, I found this brand on Amazon. God, when I was like 20, I'm like 28 now, and they, it's called Shaney Cosmetics, and you can get an entire kit of brushes, like really nice professional grade brushes that don't shed or anything, they don't fall apart when you clean them. In fact, I've had so many brushes, I've got like, like higher end brushes where the where the hand like the handle separates from the metal piece and like the whole thing falls off and like I don't want to sit there and glue it back together after I've paid for it like I just don't want to do that it's a waste of my time um but anyway Shady Cosmetics is fabulous and really affordable and while I don't love supporting Amazon you don't have to get it on Amazon you can get it through the Shaney Cosmetics website, but I really love their brushes. Like I said, I've had them for years. They've worked this entire time. So when I do any kind of foundation product, um, I typically, you know, I moisturize, I put the product on and I uh, spread it out with a, a dense brush. Then what I'm gonna do, this is my little Trixies, um, I'm gonna take my Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray and this works really well for like the dual setting sprays the ones that are like meant as primers and setting sprays doesn't work super great with just regular setting sprays that i've found because they really dry down um this kind of gives you a little bit more moisture um so what i like to do is spray my face after i've used my dense brush and then I'll go in with my damp sponge and blend it out. And I swear to you, this does not move. All I could wear this and sleep in it and it will still be there tomorrow. It is fabulous. I'm very excited about this technique. I got it, one of my friends was working at a Sephora and she did this on me for like a makeup thing. I like a light to medium coverage. So this really like 
blends out and you can still, whatever you can see, you can still see my freckles like through it. Um, but it does even out all of my skin tone, which I really like. Next, I'm going to go in with concealer. Um, I really don't like using concealer as a brightening agent. I just would rather like use highlight and kind of be a little more strategic with where I place it. Um, one thing I feel like I have like dark circles and um, I don't want them accentuated and I don't want them brightened. Um, so what I do is I get a concealer that really closely matches my skin tone that has a little bit more coverage than my uh, foundation, tinted moisturizer, or whatnot. And then, yeah, I'm going to set it afterward with the Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter um, setting powder and it's in lavender. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer and my shade is 17.5N. I just found this stuff. My go-to has been the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. But I, it's like $30 now and I can't justify, especially now that I'm having a kid, spending 30 freaking dollars every couple of months or every month, depending on how much I'm wearing the makeup, on a freaking concealer. And it is like my holy grail concealer, concealer but I just can't I justify it. This is my very dirty uh, Rare Beauty concealer brush. Um, I really need to wash my brushes. I just haven't yet. Um, I start at the edges so that it blends into my foundation really well and it gives time for the rest of this to kind of dry down a little bit before I start blending it out. And that way it's going to give me a little more coverage right under my eyes where I want it. I also tend to stipple my brush instead of swirl it. Um, I feel like, especially with concealer, you're kind of like picking product up when you're swirling it and it becomes a little patchy. So I get right up to my lower lash line with this. Now the other trick here is once I have my concealer in place and I really am not worried about like the edges or anything at this point, um, I'm going to take my sponge before I take my sponge, also I'm working one eye at a time so that I can set this before this one has time to crease. I'm going to open my powder up before I even pull my sponge out. And then I have the Fenty setting powder uh, brush, also very dirty. Uh, it says 170 on it, but I think she only has like two brushes out right now, so it's the setting powder one. Um, take my damp sponge. I'm just going to hit up kind of around the edges, make sure it's really seamless. I also don't put a lot of product uh, on my nose because my, my nose sweats and it really breaks up the product throughout the day. I still haven't found a solution for that. Um, it's not oil, it's sweat. So it's like niacinamide products would, you know, they have oil controlling. Um, it Niacinamide is an oil control kind of agent. Um, but there's not really like a sweat proof product on the market at this point so I just don't put stuff on my nose and I really I just pick up a little powder and like get it right up in there and I, like I said stippling and kind of pressing it with my brush and then I'll take it and swirl it around the edges and kind of dust away any excess yeah and I just really want it to look like my skin. I, like That's part of the other reason I don't want um, super brightening under eye stuff. And this color is still, it's, I mean this uh, concealer is actually really nice for brightening. I feel like it does give me a little bit of lightness. I mean you can kind of see it does lighten it up a little bit, but it's very close to my skin tone. And... I prefer that. Also, you can see where my sweat is like beating up on my nose. I have a fan going in here. I don't know if you can hear it, but I just pick up that sweat with my damp beauty sponge. How are you guys doing? I'm really excited to start getting a lot more content out there. Especially because like I'm having a baby. I don't I don't have any idea what I'm in for and I don't know 
as far as like work what I'm gonna be doing so I really am excited to have kind of this like side hobby project situation um, at my house so that I can just be here and still put out content um, especially like makeup has been really dope like I've been doing nails for eight years and I feel like I'm feeling a lot of burnout from it I'm definitely not as inspired as inspired as I like have been in the past I've been trying to like figure out like new inspiration and stuff I just feel like after COVID hit I've just been like burnt out like we had to do all these safety protocols I know that was like two years ago now but like really like the effects have been at least until like what the beginning of this year with like still needing masks still needing to do all this stuff and also like I was in a different city when COVID hit too, and then like having to like come home to Reno was like kind of devastating just because I commuted for an entire year. I like, I just really wanted to be in that place. And so now just kind of like re-navigating and like figuring out what direction I want to go and stuff. It's just like very new and I'm still feeling a little burnout. So. I don't know we'll see where everything goes next so I've got my under eyes set pretty well and I kind of take a little bit in my t-zone kind of take whatever's left on the brush and just kind of dust it around everywhere else and I got to pick up more sweat because I'm just I have a space heater in my body currently <laughs> my little my little tiny sunshine she's very hot she's a hot beeb I cannot wait to eat my baby's feet like, I'm just like, oh, I want to eat them. I think, like, moms and, like, other kid people, like, get it. <laughs> I'm very excited. So, I'm going to add some bronze, add a little warmth back to the skin. This is the Sigma. Oh, man. She's shiny. Now you can see yourself in there. Uh, bronzer, and it's in uh, matte bronzer light. I freaking love this stuff. Hi fans, there you are. This is like my holy grail bronzer. I have such a hard time finding the right bronzer for my skin tone. And I've tried a ton. My other favorite is, it was like a uh, duo from Pacifica. It was like a blush and bronzer duo. And it's not on the market anymore. So I just have to suffer and hope that I can find another one. But then I found this one. So <laughs> This is an e.l.f. Uh, powder brush massive I love this for applying any kind of cheek product and again I'm really into the stippling because it allows you to like kind of build up if you go right in and you start swirling you're gonna get a ton of product on your face and you kind of lose control of it and as far as like being kind of newer and I mean I've been doing makeup a long time not really professionally well, that's been like kind of a recent venture. I just like stuff that I can build on my cheeks a little bit more than just stuff that like packs pigment on. So I find it easier to like blend out slowly as you want to build it up versus like having to like fix it and go in with a sponge or pa additional powder and then you have more crap on your face and like I like to feel like I'm not wearing makeup even though I really like really bold makeup. I feel like as far as my complexion goes I really don't want like a ton of I have like these baby hairs just on this side and I have my little bit of LIGO spot right there uh yeah now I'm gonna do blush for this like fall like easy go-to fall look um I <laughs> I guess I kind of forgot what I was doing. It's like, okay, like we have a purpose, but I really wanted to show my base and kind of like how I'm doing things. Um, fall tones, I mean, you can go in the berries. You can go, as far as blush goes, like that's, I mean, you can do anything whenever you want. I'm just, what I'm gravitating towards right now is like berry tones. This one that I'm going to pull out, it's called Little Jasmine from Odin's Eye. And they just have the cutest dang packaging on the planet, but... 
getting used to opening these. I love this like toasty, you can see it's all, it's very well loved. This like toasty terracotta moment for fall. Again, I'm gonna go in with a powder brush from e.l.f. and kind of swirl it around in there, kind of tap it off. And then, and this is like still really pigmented. So even though I'm stippling instead of swirling, it's still really packing color on. But I just love this dang color. But I love the like terracottas, the like oranges, berries. I love a mustard yellow blush in the fall. I'll tell you what, it's, it's just, it's so nice. Like, I almost kind of want to try like a, like a rich red, but I feel like that's like more in the wintry department of like looking frosty, you know? Okay, so now that I have kind of packed that on, I'm gonna pick up my sweat off my nose again because gross. And then I'm actually gonna dust a little bit of what's left on my powder brush from the blush. Just kind of do my nose a little bit. I'm going to take my sponge and just kind of pat around the outside. I'm debating, I was thinking I wanted to put some freckles on today because like, come on, like it's cute, especially for fall. Okay, so I think I'm back. My camera got too hot, so that's super sucks. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. Um, but I'm taking my sponge around the outside of this blush. I think I'm going to do some freckles. I feel like it's very warm and toasty and it goes with this like look. I also just like freckles and I have freckles across my nose that I really like to show through my makeup but you know your girl doesn't go out in the sun much anymore. Not really by, not because I don't want to. I guess I should face the camera. Let's see, it's like really hard. I'm trying to use like the mirror. Really learning how to like film. But, so with Freck XL, this one is pretty pigmented. I kind of just do wherever I do with some of my nose. I kind of want to do a couple on my forehead too. You kind of let that set for a second, and then I um, I like it to be a little more subtle, so I don't let it set as long as like I've seen some other people like when you use Freck. So I just want like a subtle dusting. I don't want like too intense. I'm not I'm not there yet. I'm not <laughs> in my bold makeup days. I'm very much like a finger painter with my face makeup. Even though like I use a lot of brushes and stuff and I like them, but yeah. Also, I need to do my eyebrows. I tend to do them after my foundation because I don't I don't know. I don't like getting foundation color up in my eyebrows. I like to just I'm gonna use my mirror for this. And I'm using the thick it and stick it from NYX. I'll show it to the camera in a second. Um, but I really like to kind of wiggle it through my brows to kind of disperse the color. My camera was getting pretty hot, so it did shut off, but I did my brows. I don't know if it'll focus on this brow. This one looks a little funky in the, <laughs> in the camera. Maybe I got a little more product in it. I don't know. It definitely <laughs> looks a little funky, but I like how this eyebrow looks. So I'm like, I don't want to mess with it. I'm just gonna take this a little bit more of the thicket and stick it. And just kind of build this up a little bit. And of course I get it outside of my brow. Okay, I like that a little better. A little bold brow, never hurt anybody. I'm gonna take just like, I have a little washcloth here. Kind of wipe up. Um, but now I'm gonna go in with the Milk Hydro Grip um, Eye Primer. Just to get a little, I'm just gonna Prime my eyes with that. Is my camera really overheating again? It feels like it's not hot even. I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. I'm new to this camera, so we'll figure it out. Maybe I can get a fan on it. I like to just use like a clean brush for this and just kind of get that 
primer everywhere. I'm gonna use the Lucky Penny palette from ColourPop. Now this one flew under the radar and I understand why. It came out at a weird time. I think it was like right in the middle of summer. But like for fall, it's kind of delicious. And I really like warm tones with my brown eyes. I don't know if you can see my toasty brown eyes, but I really like colors like this for fall. I haven't used this palette yet, so I wanted to use it on camera. Um, I'm going to use this, uh, let's see, I'm going to start right here with this guy, this like medium kind of color. I want something a little on the smoky side, kind of stamping. Like I said, I really like to stamp and then swirl because then it, you can really build the product up. It's like my camera's overheating, I'm overheating. I have a fan on me, but like, how is it this hot, honestly? Yeah, just a good base down. Um, I'm definitely gonna go a little smoky with it. So I'm gonna go back and hit it big, I'm gonna do the other eye. Yeah, I just want to cut something kind of like easy and a little dramatic because like fall is like cozy and a little dramatic. Like you have like spooky season, but you know, maybe you still have to go to work or something or like, I don't know. I, like I said, I'm very much into the like wear whatever you want. So I'm going to take coin, this like toasted orangey terracotta down here, and I'm going to start again in the crease. I really want bold, like I said, so, and I really love oranges on brown eyes. I'm just using the same brush too because I'm going to pick up a clean one in a second. This is like a clean, kind of fluffy, it's probably meant to be a packing brush, but I, I like it. It's fluffy, so you can still kind of use it to blend, but this is the E12 from Shaney. Like I said, I've had this brush for like five years and it's still good. So I'm gonna use that to kind of buff the edges. Okay, so now I've got that kind of built up. I'm gonna pick up another little, I'm gonna pick up like a smaller blending brush. This one's from Blend Bunny Cosmetics, it's the B4. Um, it's kind of like, just like a smaller blending brush. And I'm gonna pick up Bullion. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with pennies, but I'll look it up afterward and see how stupid I am. I'm picking up some product, and I'm going to go kind of on the outside and just kind of build. So, because of my anatomy too, I have like a bit of a hooded eye and I have a pretty hefty brow bone. So, I go in the crease, but I kind of take it up on the brow bone a bit. To give the illusion of like a little bit more of a crease so I'm right now I'm just kind of packing it on and I'll kind of and I'll blend it out in a second with that clean fluffy brush but now I just kind of want to get it on there difficult. I'm learning. A huge tip that I have for practicing with makeup and like trying new things is do it when you're not going anywhere. Like the day that you want to try some new graphic liner is not when you're going to somebody's wedding or like when you want to try like a super dramatic like smoky eye that you've never done before. You don't want to do it when you're like have to go somewhere because if you're unhappy with it now you have to either take it off and start over or you have to like live with this like unhappy makeup. And again, just kind of taking this big fluffy guy. I kind of like the kind of like dense like packing brush. It's a little bit, but it's still fluffy. It's that one from Shaney Cosmetics. And I like it for my eye shape, especially kind of blending up here. And then I'll just kind of pack this and like bring it out a little bit. Kind of bring this in a little more. That clean brush so it gets a little smooth. I'm going to kind of run this on the outside of this again. 
I'm just kind of stippling. And I'm holding the end of my brush so that I get light pressure. Learned that from Betty Jean. I'll link her below. She used the titties. So now I have like somewhat of a baseball. I need to pack, I'm gonna pick up that um, B4 from Blend Bunny again and go in with bullion. Just to kind of add a little bit to this outside because it did not really stick. I know I said easy. This might be a little, take a little more practice for some people, but I feel like when you have somebody kind of show you step by step. Um, but I really wanted to do something a little dramatic um, that you can kind of throw together. And you can do this placement with any colors that you want, any kind of palette you want, as long as you have like kind of a difference in tone in the palette. But yeah, I really wanted something a little like easy and dramatic for fall for my hooded ad girls because we need some love too. So for shimmers, I'm going to go in with my next glitter primer. This one's getting <laughs> to the end of her days. And I put a little bit on my hand, just a little bloop. Because I, I really like to use my fingers for my shimmers. So I am going to take it and just kind of dab it on there. And I'm not being super careful about the edges because I'm not doing like... I want it to just be really smoky and kind of blend... Like I want the shimmers to blend out into the mattes. And I'm really feeling this like copperhead shade. It's got... I think on camera it's not really picking up. Maybe it is. It's got like kind of a burgundy tone to it, but it's still got that like toasted terracotta. So I'm just picking that up with my finger. So I'm going to just tap that all over the lid. And I'm kind of overlapping with that uh, as it gets darker on the outside here. I'm gonna take another clean fluffy brush. I don't even know. I think this is Morphe and He Who Shall Not Be Named. It's an old brush. I'm just gonna pick up seriously the tiniest bit of that shimmer. And I'm gonna run this around the edges to make sure that I get a seamless blend. I really like that. I'm going to use the lighter one. It's called Shiny Objects. And I'm going to pick up, let's see, I'm just going to use this little flat, flat brush. This one is a Morphe M124. And I'm just going to pick that up. Let's see if you can see. I'm going to get that on there. I'm wiping this brush off on a towel. I'm just gonna pick up the lightest, literally just tapped it in of that lightest shade. And I'm gonna run it up to my brow bone because I like to live for the drama. Like I said, I really wanted like a dramatic fall moment. And especially with hooded eyes, don't be afraid to go up into your brow bone because once you get lashes or even mascara on, you're not gonna see your lids, you know, so that's kind of why I do take my inner corner highlight up and, you know, bring up, kind of accentuate that. Like, it's not what we don't have, it's what we do, right? And I have killer eyebrow bones, so I pack color on there. I'm actually going to take a little bit on my pinky of that lightest shade and just kind of dust it up here because we're just doing it. So, and again, you can take, like, just a fluffy brush just to buff that out and make sure that there's no like patches or anything. What I'm going to do now is my lower lash line and I'm going to do something else that I haven't done so but on camera anyway. I'm going to use a little bit of my Hydro Grip Primer because once I set my under eyes so they don't get all creasy and stuff um, with that powder nothing sticks to it. So. I learned this little Trixie and the little doe foot on here allows you to get like right up close and personal. And I'm just gonna take 
It's just this clean, this is uh, just like a clean, dense packing brush. This is a Shani E17. And buff that out. For this, I'm going to take a Blend Bunny Cosmetics B2 brush. It's a really itty bitty guy. And I'm going to pick up Coin, which was that like toasted orange color. And I'm going to just bring that right up against my lashes. Kind of drag it up here a little bit. And don't worry about how this looks yet because we're going to take a fluffy brush and blend it out, you know. I'm taking that all the way across because I can. Um, and I'm just going to wipe that off on my towel. You can use a color switch or whatever. And then I'm going to pick up Bouillon, that deep toasty color. I'm going to kind of focus this on the outer half. Right now I'm really just getting color on. So I'm just taking that, just making sure we get kind of seamless little situation here. And I'm going to take another, let's see, what are you, a Morphe M507, and it's a little bit fluffier, and I'm just going to run that under there. And I'm pretty happy with that. I do think I want to deepen up my outer corner a little bit more, but I feel like out of this palette, this, this color is the one that I'm not super happy with. I feel like it's like not as pigmented, it's like not as deep as I want it to be, and then it's like kind of patchy, which is kind of pissing me off a little bit. So I'm going to take that big dense fluffy brush that I was using earlier, I'm just kind of, I'm doing a little bit of a wing shape on the outside for the drama. And like I said, like, is it really that dramatic? I have really hooded eyes, so like, it's like, you know, if my eyes are open, how much of this eyeshadow do you actually see? So you almost kind of have to use what, like, brow bone space that you have to really get that effect that you want. Last thing I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna take that gold color. It's like an orangey gold in the center, just on my finger. And I'm going to press it close to the lower lash line in the inner corner. I'll see if I can get... It's really difficult <laughs> trying to balance. Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, camera, monitor, mirror. <laughs> so, I'm going to just take big uh, Morphe M505 brush and just kind of... Blend that out. Perfect. I'm going to use this one from ColourPop. It's, um, since we're just like in a ColourPop mood right now, um, this is from their Avatar collection. This one's called Groundbreaker, so it's like for the Earthbenders. But I just wanted like a shimmery brown. So you can kind of see just to go with this. And I'm going to pop it on my waterline. Just to kind of deepen that up. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. I had a couple of lip options. Because I was like, I have a glossy lip. I have like a matte toasty terracotta. I'm going to kind of swatch them and see how I feel. And then I have this like deep brown. This is called Chocolate Wasted from Dose of Colors. Ooh, I do like the brown with it. This one's Terra from Kaleidos. It's one of their... Uh cloud paint lip clays or something oh I don't know I don't know and then this one is pumpkin pie it's a gloss from uh, lime crime and it's their wet cherry gloss I freaking love this one because it's got like this rosy, orangey, terracotta moment happening, and I'm obsessed. So, and that's the whole mood I'm going for. Also, friends, since I'm going to take these swatches off, I just have to show you. The one size go-off makeup dissolving mist is a motherfucking godsend, okay? Like, you spray this on your whole face, and I know a lot of people maybe not into the spray on the face. I tell you, 
it is amazing. So you want to, you just spray it. Watch this, guys. It just wipes off, like completely, like there's nothing left. You, I swear to God, you can get like mascara, fucking waterproof, whatever, gone. Absolutely gone with a spray, like, and it's very, it doesn't feel like super tacky or sticky. It's just delicious. It's fucking wonderful. I love it. Lashes. So I do, I have been using and I have been recommending for like a while now, the Lancome uh, Idol Mascara. This shit is baller. And I get the minis because I will never use their mascara before it dries out. Um, I just won't. So I just want to show you on my stubby little lashes before I throw some lashes on what this look looks like without doing lashes. Then I'll, you know, you don't have to wear lashes to have this look. You could, you could just stop here, you know? Okay, so I did go with that pumpkin pie gloss. And I threw on my lashes, their Alter Ego from Bold Face Makeup. Love these. They're just like so fluffy and delicious. And yeah, so that's the look. I really love it. I love this look. I just feel like a toasted marshmallow. <laughs> and I like the lip, has a little bit of the pinky in it. Really draws out kind of that burgundy undertone of that shimmer. But yeah. All right, guys. Well. Yay! My first real video with my new filming setup, so I'm really excited. So hit that like button, hit subscribe, and eh, 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 because I'm going to be putting out a lot more stuff. And I'm so glad that you guys came to see my video. I'm really excited to keep putting out more content. I have so many opinions on makeup, <laughs> and I feel like it's time that I get on here and share them. So love you guys. Bye!